There's many fans on here that want to know about the power bomb you took when you were playing one of the hoes uh, because they say it looked really devastating and realistic. Okay, so I was a godfather home and um, godfather, they had to throw one of the girls, me or Mandy, myself or Mandy. And I was like, I go to wrestling school, throw me through a table, which I didn't know was going to take me off TV. And um, they th they were sick. They were scared that I wasn't going to break the table. And I'm like, wait, Spike goes to the table. You know, Spike Dudley. Um, I think we weigh the same. I was like 160, 155. And I was like, I think I can break the table. It's a real table. And they said, just make sure she breaks the table. And he threw me up and with all his might. He still, every time I see him at an appearance, I just want to say sorry for that power bomb. And I remember coming back and I sold it. Like I did not move. I didn't, and they were asking me, are you okay? I didn't talk because I was selling it. I just didn't want, I was so, I was so green. I was such a rookie. And I was like, I don't want to get in trouble for not selling. And um, came back and the undertaker was, I told uh, Godfather, does she owe you money or something? And of course my initial, yeah. Of course, after taking that big, huge bump in my career, right? I wanted to go out and celebrate. And they're like, oh no, you don't show your face. And I was like, whoa, this is like, this is not like a, a movie where, you know, Tom Cruise isn't playing another character and he could go out and celebrate. Um, you know, this is old school mentality where you sell it. And I was in neck, neck brace um, and it took me off TV um, for a while, a lot, like a year or so. And that's when I was in OVW. And I'm like, I shouldn't have volunteered going through the table, but then I trained. I came back as a, like a legit wrestler, you know, I'm, I'm glad it, they waited so long. I got teased a lot by, I, um, Danny Davis goes, Hey, Lisa, you need to go home and pack. You got called up to TV and everybody's like, yay. Like everybody in class. Oh my gosh. And I come back an hour later, but two hours later and they're like, what are you doing? And I go, they changed their mind. It happened to me a lot, but I'm glad that they changed their mind because it was, it was meant to be, you know what I mean? They had different characters in mind for me, like a Valley girl, because I'm a California girl, but I'm, I don't look like a Valley girl, you know, like the stereotypical bleach blonde and totally, I, even though I talk like that, but um, I'm glad they waited because you're never ready. When you get the call up, you still feel green. You feel so green and the pressure of going, they invested three years of me going, you know, moving um, I and I was getting paid to train, you know, not very much, don't, you know, wasn't wealthy, um, but I thought I was being tested, but I'm glad they waited because I wouldn't have been ready. If they brought me up a year into it, I would have been the shits, excuse my language, but I would have been terrible, you know? And even though I, right now still, when I watch my matches, I'm not happy with my matches. I'm too critical. I'm too critical. I'm like, oh man, that clothesline sucked, you know, like, but that's how you get your craft better. You know what I mean? Thank you for watching the Hannibal TV. Please like this video if you enjoyed it and click the subscribe button to not miss any of our latest shoot interviews, match videos, or news updates. Follow us on Twitter at the Hannibal TV for instant updates.